I'm John and in this video I will be showing you how to install the Philips Hue outdoor motion sensor. Uh, I will show the different mounting options with the corner mount and with the wall mount and also how you could install it on a pole with a chip tie. So let's jump in. On the box it says it has a wall mount, a corner mount, uh, some screws and uh, two AA batteries. So here is what the box came with. This is the Hue outdoor motion sensor. It has the batteries pre-installed. If you want to see how to replace the batteries, uh, check my video, I will link it in the description. Here is the wall mount, just a piece of plastic and the corner mount and it also comes with two screws which you can use for mounting it. So there are three options for mounting the Philips Hue outdoor motion sensor. You can install it on a flush surface like on a wall or, or for example on a fence. Then you can mount it with the corner mount on a corner or an inside corner or outside corner and then there's the uh, so-called flexible mounting option where you uh, use this mounting bracket and you put a zip tie do the through the bracket and uh, just wrap it wrap the zip tie around the, a pole for example or a gutter and then install it on this so this is the the wall mount and uh, in the option one in the leaflet is is mounting on a on a wall with this wall mount so what you do is you put the screw in here to fix the wall mount and then you put put the flips you outdoor motion sensor on the wall mount like this and there is a screw at the bottom which is a Phillips head also a flat screwdriver fits in here you just make the screw flush on the surface and then you can then it's it holds on the on this wall mount second option for mounting is mounting on an inside corner for example here would be an inside corner so in order to mount in the inside corner you put this hole to the bottom and now you can put a screw in here and in here to hold it in place then you use the wall mount Here and, and the package comes with the screw that goes in here and after that's in place you install it as you would on the wall mount placing it on the wall wall mount and then tightening the bottom screw option 2b which is the uh, which is a corner like this and there you would put this uh, hole on the on the left or on the right side like this and now there's a hole in here so you can put the screw in here and then again the wall mount goes on the corner mount and the Philips Hue goes on the ball mount and you tighten the screw at the bottom. The third option is the flexible mounting option and that's pretty much the same as the first one but instead of putting a screw in here and putting it in the wall use a zip tie and wrap it around something and then mount it on that. Some other considerations for mounting the Philips Hue outdoor motion sensor. So you need to think about which motion you want to pick up. Uh, on the box it says it has 12 meter range but in my experience it's more like a six or seven meter range or if you i mean if you place it high like if you would place it up there on the 
on the roof corner but it would have maybe like a three meter range if i would install it on the fence like 1.5 meters off the ground it also has 160 degrees angle so like it would be motion pretty much from the side from both sides and anywhere in between and the vertical uh, angle is 80 degrees so it's uh, not quite uh, straight but it's a bit downwards and uh, just uh, considering that uh, for example in, in my case I want to pick up motion when somebody drives here we usually park our cars here and then when somebody goes into the door so for me a quite good option is just where the ladder is on the it's about three meters from the ground over there placing the motion sensor so then I get around seven meters range so uh, it covers nicely the area for parking and it's still uh, with the sideways angle it, it covers the front porch and entrance here so that will be good good in my case I'm going to buy the Philips Hue outdoor motion sensor for automating your lights uh, and you perhaps are going to use the Samsung smart things app you have to check out my other video for automating outdoor lights without changing existing bulbs I will leave a link in the description and up there for that if you found this video helpful I would really appreciate it if you can leave a, a comment or give a thumbs up it really helps out the channel and also consider subscribing I have a lot of uh, home automation videos uh, coming up so that's something to look forward to thank you and see you in the next one